team deathmatch. What's up guys, Tyler here, and today I have for you another Call of Duty Ghosts gameplay on the Wii U. This was a team deathmatch on the map Tremor, which was the same map as the last gameplay I posted up, I believe. Uh, in this gameplay I went on something like a 16, work, it might have been 16 or it may have been 17 gun streak again and ended up dying again. I actually finished the game 20 to 3, so it was kind of a good game but it was disappointing to die on the gun streak. The time limit wasn't actually an issue because there was plenty of time remaining in the game. But uh, this guy with the shotgun, the bulldog, kept on coming back and uh, he was out for blood and of course in the end uh, he managed to get me. We actually lost this game by one point, which was uh, kind of ridiculous considering I did 20 to 3. My teammates as usual were completely epic and they were just the greatest players in the history. I think when I eventually get the KEM strike, or the chem strike, however you want to call it, it probably won't be on this map, it'll be on a larger map. This map's kind of too small to hide like I did in this game, like for the entire match, uh, or for long enough to get the KEM at least. So I think it'll be on a bigger map. I saw uh, SAS James UK got his on. I think he got his first one on Siege, and I don't know if I'll get um, get it on as big a map as that because I really don't like that map at all. But I think it's definitely a bigger map than this. It'll be a lot easier to try and uh, play defensively like this and end up with the KEM. Uh, as I said, it's defensive a defensive gameplay. Not really what I usually try and. Uh, try and go for. Normally I just love to run around and shoot people, as many people as I can, but I was trying for the chem strike and so this was kind of how I thought that it would be more, it would be easier to achieve it. I'll upload some, I've got some very different style gameplay with the MTAR that I'm going to upload in the next few days, so you can look forward to that. I wouldn't really call it camping how I played. I mean it might look like it at times, it might look like I'm sitting in a corner or like waiting by a doorway, but I was trying to sound haul them out and wait for them, uh, like sit and wait for them around corners, not just sit in a corner randomly for the entire match. I was actually trying to position myself so that I would be able to uh, kill the enemy that was just about to come round. And uh, you'll hopefully if you have headphones on you'll be able to see that. Uh, the class I'm using, I realise you won't have paused the video at the beginning, so I'll just tell you. The class is the AK-12 with the silencer obviously and the foregrip. Um, the P226 pistol. I'm yet undecided as to which pistol is the best. I've used this one and I've used the first one. I think the M9A1, I believe it is, the first one. And I'm not really sure. I think I prefer this one. It feels a bit more like the TAC-45 from Black Ops 2, which I liked. So yeah, I've got no lethal tactical grenade. I explained that in, I think, my one of my sniping commentaries that if you could actually take off the lethal and tactical grenade for an extra perk slot, or extra two perk slots, which I find to be more beneficial, Perks I had on were Quick Draw, Dead Silence, Off the Grid, and Focus. Off the Grid is a great perk if you're running the Silencer, and especially if you're using Dead Silence as well. It just keeps you away from those uh, satcoms, keeps you off the radar, and allows you to play uh, pretty much however you like, and the enemies will not really know where you are, which is definitely an advantage. The difference in this gameplay to my last... Uh, KEM fail I suppose on this map was that in this this time I used the specialist strike package as opposed to I think it was assault that I used in the last one. Uh, it seemed to help a little bit especially having scavenger you'll notice that I run out of ammo very quickly in this game and so having scavenger was definitely a great help uh, which is something that I wouldn't normally use necessarily on my standard perks but getting it at, getting it at three kills is is just about right because I don't really need it right at the beginning because obviously I have ammo already uh, so after three kills my ammo might be a little depleted so having scavenger there is very really useful indeed my specialist setup that I have is scavenger ICU at six kills ICU is a great perk by the way if you haven't tried it already uh, it just gives you quicker health regen the health regen in this game is really slow uh, and so ICU is definitely an advantage to have. Then at 8 kills, I'm not sure exactly how the specialist works because I only had two, uh, I only had scavenger and ICU at 3 and 6 and I had nothing in that third slot so I'm not sure exactly how it works. Um, but at 8 kills I had ready up, blind eye, wire tap and ping. I always have blind eye in my specialist just because I hate, like what would be the worst thing if you're like on a, on a decent gun streak and you die to something stupid like a helicopter 
or sentry gun or something like that. That would be the most frustrating thing, so I always use blind eye in my specialist. Wiretap is a great perk, I use it especially in free for all, it allows you to use enemy satcoms to your own advantage. Ping is kind of useful if you're on a high gun streak as well, you don't want to be surprised by a second enemy when you've just killed a first. And ping alerts you as to if there is a second enemy or not. And ready up is obviously just useful for if you get caught sprinting. Uh, that's all I can say really, there's not a lot else to be said. Um, watch the rest of the video, you'll see I'm on 9 and 0 currently. You'll see that I managed to get up to something like, I think, 16 and 0. Then I get taken out, and then, as I said, I end up finishing the game 20 and 3, and we lose uh, 50... We don't even, it doesn't even go to score limit, we actually lose 58 to 59, I think. So it was a really slow-paced game, it wasn't just me that was playing like this, apparently. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video, and I'll see you later. Goodbye! Enemy SATCOM spotted. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Link enabled.
Ça va, tu fais quoi Oh ouais. Montez vidéo. <rire> 